today I'd like to take you through Pythagoras' theorem. Pythagoras' theorem revolves around the concept of a right angle triangle and before we get started I'd like to just go through the the parts of a right angle triangle. Now obviously a triangle is a three-sided polygon. This side over here, the long side, is called the hypotenuse and the reason you know that's the hypotenuse is because in a right angle triangle the hypotenuse is opposite the right angle which is down here. Now if this side here where the arrow is pointing is the hypotenuse I can label that H. This side over here is called A and this side down here is called B. Now A and B are the legs of the right angle triangle and for the for the use of Pythagoras' theorem, rather than calling the hypotenuse H, I'm going to call it C. So C is the hypotenuse, A and B are the legs of a right angle triangle. Now Pythagoras had an idea that if you took a right angle triangle, any right angle triangle, the square of the side A plus the square of the side B equaled the same area as the square of the side C. Written another way, a squared plus B squared equals C squared. This is Pythagoras' theorem. To demonstrate Pythagoras' theorem, I'd like to take you through two examples. This example down here, I'm going to say that this side over here is 5 and this side down here is 12. I'd like to know what is the length of this side here, C. Now using Pythagoras' theorem of A squared plus B squared equals C squared, I'm going to plug in the values and solve for C. 5 squared plus 12 squared equals C squared. 5 squared is equal to 25 and 12 squared is equal to 144. 25 plus 144 equals 169, so 169 is equal to C squared. Now this is where it can get a little bit tricky. The opposite of squaring a number is to square root a number and in this case we're going to square root the pronumeral C squared in order to get it back to C. Whatever we do to the right hand side of an equation we must do to the left so we must also square root 169. Now the square root of 169 is 13 so C in this case is equal to 13. In this example over here on the right hand side we've got a triangle. It looks like a right angle triangle but we can't be sure. We can use Pythagoras' theorem however to tell that if it is. Imagine this side here was 10, this side down the bottom was 24, and the hypotenuse of this triangle had a length of 26. We could use Pythagoras' theorem to, solve, to see whether this is a right angle triangle. If Pythagoras' theorem is correct, this will be a right angle triangle if the square of 26 is equal to the square of 10 plus the square of 24. Let's have a look. 10 squared plus 24 squared is equal to 100 plus 576. 100 plus 576 is 676. C in this case is 26. C squared is equal to 26 squared. 26 squared is also equal to 676. Because these numbers are equal, we know that 26 squared is equal to 10 squared plus 24 squared. Therefore, we can label this triangle as a right angle triangle. Once more, Pythagoras' theorem is that a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where c squared is the hypotenuse, the side opposite the 90 degree angle.